So Ian's Managing Director of the Diverse Addison Group, uh, which he founded and continues to manage with a team of over 300. So Hooker Gate was actually a great place to grow up, um, but it, it was a very rough area at a very rough time. So um, miners strikes, all the mines closing down, and I always had this kind of ambition and, and burning desire to sort of get out and, and, and see, the, see the world. There were six classes of 30 and three of us went to uni from Hoogergate. That opened my eyes really to, you know, people with, with, um, with a bit of ambition and a, and a, and a different worldview. So um, that's probably the start of the entrepreneurial um, endeavours. Certainly on the theme of the property side, obviously Ian's background is, is substantial and has a lot of relevance to a number of areas within our business. The most interesting thing about people, and especially business people, is their personal qualities their business experience and how they got to where they are and that's always fascinating. I'd done my undergraduate geography dissertation on student accommodation and that had doubled up as a business plan and I borrowed um, £13,000 and bought a little terraced house in Bowburn and that account continued with Northern Rock from the initial £13,000 loan and became a £7 million loan and almost 90 properties. Um, over a period of about eight or nine years. We've just posted 2.8 million profit off about 30 million turnover. You know, nothing could go wrong. And it always really annoys me when you hear the economists and the, you know, the bankers saying they didn't see the, 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 the credit crunch or the recession coming because the signs were there for me. So we started developing property to sell. So from an investment to a trading model, but then overnight, the 80 million's worth of assets devalued to 45. That's where it had been the right call to sell. As a team, we, it brought us all together really. We became more efficient and actually I would like to think we're a lot wiser now. You know, we don't take on anywhere near the same levels of debt. Collectively as a team, we made a strategic decision just to, to do the stuff that we enjoyed and that was rewarding. So niche property management businesses, so lettings, residential lettings, commercial property management, uh, and block management, which is the sort of service charge management. And then these, these companies took on their own momentum. We put a management team in each company and these companies got their own legs. So the business now is set up around a trading development model and an investment model. And we decide which sectors we're trading in and which sectors we're investing in. I think the thing that resonates first of all is that everybody's in the same boat. And no matter how successful a company is, everybody goes through very similar experiences. So commercial property is a big play for us at the minute. So we have um, initially 20 million and then probably another 20 million allocated to the right commercial property investments in the northeast. I think Newcastle is to the northeast what Manchester was to the northwest. So we're quite optimistic about Newcastle's potential for growth. And um, I think Newcastle's got a really bright decade ahead of it. 